G'day, hey gang, Steve Barker from Raw Leadership, jumping on to share another insight with you from my book, Redefining Leadership, 101 Audacious Tips for Today's Leaders. So what I've been doing in these series of videos is I've been going through each of the chapters and coming up with one of the tips and just putting some more meat on the bones. And the one that I found this time is around culture, and it's called the huddle. Now, what do I mean by the huddle? Well, when we're trying to grow a good workplace culture, we want everybody to feel like they're involved. We want everybody to feel that they are valued, that they are cared for, that they are significant and that they have a role to play within the team. Now, one of the things that people shy away from is having meetings. They don't like meetings. Meetings are a pain in the backside. They take up valuable time, which is time that you could be spent doing the job that you're supposed to be doing. So the concept behind the huddle is that we have maximum of five minutes. Now, I recommend that you do these huddles first thing in the morning and last thing at night. So just before the shift starts and just before the shift finishes. Now, if you can't do two, I encourage you to do two. Find the time. You'll find that these are really valuable. Then just do the morning one or to start a shift one. Five minutes. That's all it is. It's a stand up meeting. Now, your team members, you could have 20 people in the huddle or you could have five people in the huddle. Doesn't really make any difference. Maximum of five minutes, remember? So we got to move around the huddle really, really quickly. And this is why it's called a huddle. We just get together, say what we've got to say, and then we're off. But one of the things that we do at the start of the day is to be able to quickly go around the group and check in and see what they're up to. And this, in turn, makes sure that people are prepared for the huddle. If they've only got 20 minutes to share, 20 seconds to share, they share what they've got to do in 20 seconds. Now, the other thing that this does is it enables the rest of the group to know what each other are up to. What are they working on that day? Maybe there's some medical appointments or people are leaving the office for other meetings and stuff like that. They know where people are going to be. That also gives a sense of certainty within the team. This is another core need of the human being is certainty. We've got these um, fundamental human needs that we have, one of them being certainty. We like to know what's going on. So again, if we get this all out in the huddle and we know that maybe John has got a doctor's appointment and Barry's got to go and pick his kid up from the school and Mary has a meeting with a client in town at lunchtime, we know where they are. It gives us that sense of certainty. Also, if somebody else is working on a project we're co-working on, then we can start to huddle together. So we can have these huddles, maximum of five minutes. Remember, it's a very fast paced meeting. It's like, get the information out. If anything needs to be taken offline, then talk about it. Say, OK, let's do this offline. Let's you and I get together and we'll discuss that. It means it's fast, it's effective, it's efficient. Now, at the end of the day huddle, that's where we get together and we celebrate what we've been able to achieve. So you, know, you can say, yes, I was able to achieve that task that I said I was going to be able to do. Or no, I got stuck and I need somebody else's help. We get together and we start to thrash out how we've done and if we need any assistance. Again, this gives the opportunity for people to put their hand up and say, hey, yes, I can help you with that. Or I've got a bit of time in my pocket. Let me take that off you for you. For you. It starts to bring the team together because remember a good workplace culture is where the team are working together where they respect each other where they have each other's backs and we get this from being able to communicate effectively and the huddle is a really great way to be able to do it i've shared this with numerous teams and they now huddle first thing in the morning last thing at the end of their shift and they've seen it makes a hell of a difference so i encourage you to start trying the huddles if you like this tip and you like what I've been sharing, perhaps you want to go and get yourself a copy of this. You can leave it on the boardroom table. You can leave it in the office and other people will pick it up and it will start to help them with their leadership problems. So wherever you are in the world, I hope that this has served you well and I'll be back again soon with more insights and tips from Redefining Leadership. Until then, take care. See you later.